and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to my little slice of the internet. My name is Ox Bigley, and this is the BAM box, pop culture box, for January of 2020. I almost said 19. Glad I caught myself. Anyway, so, I don't remember all of the uh, properties for this one, other than Marvel Zombies, because I know that they were doing that in both boxes. So... Um, before I open this up, hey, do you even know what Bandbox is? In case you don't, let me tell you real quick. It is a subscription box service, as you can no doubt tell, where they send you, you know, one-of-a-kind items that you can only get in the Bandbox. They specialize in hat pins, uh, which you can see back here. Specialize in... Celebrity autographs, signed art prints, and other various one-of-a-kind items. So, <clears throat> with that said, I th think he may is in this. If not, it's going to be for uh, February. So, without further ado, I will give you the first look, which has probably got that one sheet of paper over it with the band box logo. Yes, it does. So, we shall take this and put it over there. Now, you get the first look again. Okay, so let me go blindly in here. Oh, first is the pen. Irony of all ironies. I have regular flavor Captain America. If you saw the pa the last box, which was the horror box, I have Zombo Captain America. So that's pretty uh pretty appropriate. Um let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, hello, what are you? Ah, the BAM scratch-off cards. I got another upgrade. Level up card. Nice. Don't know what it's for, but we will soon find out. And I got another card here. Artwork card. This is a fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists, as I say. But it will say in the spoiler sheet. So I will get to that momentarily. So put it over there, get that out of the way, and save that for after. Okay, this is a comic book with no title. Interesting. So it looks like it's got Vampirella, uh, Red Sonia. And a couple of other characters I don't know. Okay. Nope. No title. I don't know why there's no title. Let's see. Up here where there would be a title, there's no title. We'll find out what that is in a moment. <laughs> so let's get to the, uh, the spoiler sheet. So, so far, so good. Uh, do, 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 do. Is there anything else in here? I feel another piece of carded something. Make sure I pick up more than one thing. I did pick up more than one thing, but they're both face down, so right there. So, oh, I think this is uh, Faker uh, from He-Man. So, yes, this was He-Man. Uh, I was in the box. So that's pretty cool. He's like a cyborg. He's blue because he's not a real He-Man. And the second one is, nice, a uh, signed uh, photograph. Uh, for, of Greedo from the original Star Wars trilogy. That's kind of cool. Alright, so I think the only thing left in here would be the spoiler sheet. But let's have another another grope around in the box. Nope, that's it. Okay. So, let's see. All right. What do we got? Um, oh! Okay, I did, okay, the art print here. Let me see. The, the Faker art print is one of the upgrades. So this is numbered out of 500. So that is what the uh, level up is for that. That's pretty cool. Uh, the fan art pin, uh, for the first time in Bandbox in the band box, sorry. We did a crossover pin set, the regular Hero pins, 
are here in the pop culture box while their zombie counterparts are in the horror box. Uh, and of course, the other two were Wolverine and Iron Man. Uh, fan art print. We're excited to have artist Rocky Davies, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, back. He is making 80s magic again. With his He-Man fan art, look for variants numbered out of 250 and 99. So, this is out of 500. So, maybe they messed up when they put that together. Anyway, uh, comic book. Comics from Betty and Veronica meet Red Sonia and Vampirella. Okay. Uh, Bob's Burgers and more. Look for rare drops in random boxes. So, that's probably what that was Betty Veronica meet uh, Red Sonia and Vampirella because Red Sonia was like back in medieval ancient times or something like that and Vampirella was modern and it's all modern whatever uh, <laughs> see the uh, Star Wars fans rejoice we are thrilled to have Paul Blake in this month's box Paul played Greedo in the original Star Wars film we don't use that new word but We'll ask you who shot first. Uh, look for the limited run of photos numbered out of 99 that will be leveled up. So let's have a look and see what the number is on this. There is a number on this. I don't see a number on this. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe if it was, uh, you, would, you would see it. Although all the pictures that they have here... Of the of the uh, Greedo snapshots, I don't have any of those. So, uh, this is the artist select card. Which one did I do with that? Let me see. Uh, this is introduction to new, all new continuity item. The artist select card. The theme is battle. Two cards will make a set over two months, January and February. You also look for a variant foil card numbered out of only one hundred. And this is a regular one because it's uh it's not numbered out of hundred, and I don't see any foil on it. Although, strictly speaking, I don't really see foil on the other one too much either. But okay, uh, so yeah, okay. Now that I got those done, time for the scratch them off. So let us see what I has, if I has anything at all. Hmm. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Had to match three of the same symbols. I can already tell you I didn't. So, it's kind of dirty at the top of the box here. I have a 4K TV, art print upgrade, and pin upgrade box. So, I did not win. Anything off the scratch off, uh, although it did get three chances, or two boxes. So, <laughs> um, that's really cool. So, was there anything else? There? No, okay. So, what did I think of this one? Um, mainly the original autograph and subscription box. Okay, see. That's what they do. So, uh, I have to. I would like to read the comic at some point. Uh, I typically. I've read a comic in a long time, to be perfectly honest with you. So, uh, I used to collect trading cards a lot, so this is kind of cool, and it'd be interesting to see what the other one's going to be, although it seems to be green, a green lightsaber, so I can guess it's going to be Luke. The uh, comic book, I mean, the artwork is nice. Sort of that uh, realistic styling there, which is cool. Obviously, the artwork on this is wonderful. And, uh, well, the, uh, I mean, come on, it's a Star Wars, uh, signature, presumably of the, uh, the person who was in the suit. Didn't, it didn't say necessarily, uh, if it was a suit or the person doing the voice, but my assumption is the man in the suit. So, you've seen this, and hopefully, uh, you've looked at, at my other videos I've done of Bambox. If you think this is something that you would enjoy, Link is in the description. As always, I believe it's about 30 35 shipped. That's domestic U.S. Uh, shipping. 
if my memory serves me correctly, I will have the corrected info in the description. Uh, but yeah, I, I've gotten a lot of cool things from Bandbox. Bandbox always brings the, the awesome, the, uh, the quality. Uh, yeah, they've had a couple boxes here and there that are hit or miss, but you know what? You try to please thousands of people at one time. With, with every item that you put in a box that's, that's kind of random, you're, you're going to have a couple that fall flat. Um, that's just the luck of the draw. But um, these guys really believe in every single item that they put into it. They think it's something that's cool. And you can't really fault them for it. And on top of that, one thing I will definitely say is that the Bandbox uh, community, and when, when I say community, I'm meaning that the people who run the company, the people who are admins for their social media and everything else like that, they interact with us, the customers, the subscribers. And unlike other subscription box services where there might be a uh, hiccup in shipping or one item didn't, didn't come or whatever, they will let us know. They they get on Facebook and YouTube and, and, and Instagram and they do a live thing every Friday. Highly suggest you tune into those. It's great to see what's coming up next. To see if you know they're doing any special giveaways. Other you know other than that, and then also like it'll give you like if there's any shipping updates and whatnot. Like I already mentioned they'll do that, and they they communicate with us. You know, like they care because they do, and it's something that, uh, you know, they they basically are making a box that they themselves would want to sub subscribe to, and they treat the customers the way that they would want to be treated as customers themselves, which makes them uh, head and shoulders above the competition, in my personal opinion. Uh, I really wish that NECA and the people behind the Crate of Lootness would get would get on that, but. Uh, because there's been shipping delays and whatnot with them and uh, quality issues with some of the products. Regardless, oh, um, I've rambled on long enough. It's, we're going nearly on 13 minutes here. So I will bid you adieu and uh, stay tuned for probably the end of March to see February's. Um, or the end of, yeah, the end of March to see February's. Uh, Two boxes. I'm going to be staying uh, subscribed to both of them, uh, the pop culture and horror one, because why not? I, I, I'm, I've not gotten a bad item. I've gotten a lot of items where I questioned it. I'm like, why did this get in here? But then there was always something else in the box that said, okay, this is worth it. Uh, so with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next month for another BAM Box. Bye!